Right, so second video of the day from me. And this one is another nice, easy, light subject to talk about, and it's transgender and, uh, you know, how wonderful that is. So um, the, the headline of this video is probably going to be something like, this is your hill to die on. And it is. But it is also, this is the battle that I guarantee you we win. You know, we, we know that um, there are activists out there who hate anything that is traditional. They they hate they 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 will have words like cis that that other people then use. I'm not using it word. I'm a man. I'm male. That's it. Um, if I was gay, I would still be a man. I would just love cock, but I don't. I like the boobs and stuff and the bums and you know. But um. Uh, but there are people out there that have an ulterior motive to do this because that's how you attack a country. So in my previous video, I talked about immigration and how you can replace a population over time with people that don't give a crap about the country. In fact, they don't like the country. They don't like the culture. They're here to take over and insert their ideology. I think they'll get a shock when they realise that actually the powers that be are also going to come down on them at some stage. Um, but... And the other way is attack the family. Let's stop people from reproducing. Let's go after this by um, convincing children that have that are that are quite rightly a bit confused about themselves. You know, their their the brain hasn't even formed yet properly. It's gonna apparently it doesn't really completely form until you're twenty five, um, and then obviously at that stage like mine, it starts to uh, decline, I guess. But um, where am I going with this? Come on, Winston, get get with it. Um, yes, so this is your hill to die on. Now, I also feel tragically sorry for anybody that genuinely doesn't feel like they belong in their body. I can't imagine how that feels. I, I, I mean that, absolute sincerity. My heart goes out to you if you're so confused by it. Um, I do suspect with most cases of this, and I believe this is backed up by science and evidence, that that's a process that a lot of people do go through. It's still a very, very tiny proportion of the society that that feels that way, but left to just carry on through your puberty, by the end of that, by far and large, the almost every single one accepts their body they accept who they are they might be slightly effeminate as a male they might be gay or they might be a bit of a you know lumberjack wearing tomboy who's uh, a lady like her um so so what i don't care about that i don't care what you want to do with your bits and pieces and what other people's bits and pieces that you enjoy none of my goddamn business but it absolutely is my business if you are trying to um insert some sort of cancer into children's minds to convince them of that and obviously to convince them that their parents hate them and everything like that so it's it's absolutely awful um so this is your heel to die on if you haven't yet drawn a line in the sand and said no i, I will f i will stand and fight on this one this is the one if we lose this battle which we won't we're going to win it but we're going to need your help is you have to make a stand and it doesn't have to be making YouTube videos. I, I, you know, it doesn't have to be doing things on social media. Although the occasional post, if you feel it's one that's so blatantly obvious that you think you can get away with putting that on on Facebook or wherever it is, please do it. But at the very, very least, you can just have conversations with people. And you know if a conversation goes somewhere and you get the gist you get a hint that this person's quite based and that they're not really having it do it delicately but do it speak to them about it and say do you realize how much there is going like you can say yeah there was i heard that there was a school in brighton where something like 60 of the children in this reasonably small school are now like trans in some way or gender fluid or queer or whatever and it's like that's no that's not right is it there, there, there must be something that's encouraging them and rewarding them and that that's the that's the the most sick part of this is you get these trans activists who don't care about these kids they care about their kink or whatever it is that they 
want other people to ruin themselves. They want children to go on puberty blockers so that they'll be then, for the rest of their lives, reliant on medication to, to stay alive, I guess, you know. Um, probably going to die early. Um, cancer, suicide, whatever. All these sorts of things. And these people are pure evil. And this is your point, you make a stand. The biggest call out here will be to people that are already trans, that, but like say a Blair White for instance, Blair, Blair White accepts that he is still male. I'm prepared to say she, because she seriously makes an effort, but he knows he's not an actual woman. He knows he's a trans woman. People like that, but also there are a lot of people that um, are detransitioning and going through hell and have been left um, out by the community that was so nice, that was so supporting of them, that was there rewarding them every time. Yeah, yeah, what, what, you know, to the girl, why don't you just cut off your hair? I have a boy's haircut and they go, oh, it looks brilliant on you. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. You get these little boosts of serotonin or whatever it is that you get when someone likes something you posted on social media. It's evil. But those are the people that are being silenced now, but we need you. I'm so sorry for what's happened to you if you're regretting it. Um, but know that there is a much larger community out here that is there to welcome you. The, the people like me that you probably thought were evil bastards, we're not. We care about you. We're here. But we need you to do it. Your life may have been seriously negatively affected, potentially ruined. But there is there is a place for you to defend other people from having to go through what you're going through. I don't claim to know everything about this. You know, I, I'm not like Kelly J. King, Posey Parker, or that Anna who, hi, that Anna, if you watch this. Um, I don't know everything about it. Uh, it's not it's not been my only thing I've been dealing with but to those people out there this this video is going to bloody garble and go on forever so I'll probably cut it off now but um, we win this one but we need your help so whatever little bit you can do or say do it and say it and then once once that battle is won and it will be won you have to still remain vigilant against it because these lunatics will never stop once that's won, there's an awful lot more people that are woken up. And then you can say, do you care about kids now? Do you care about these, these victims of grooming gangs? These are children. Look what's happened to them. And we can wake people up. And we can actually start making that right. And then the other issues. And the other issues. And you'll find that maybe one day, you know, we do actually get back some sort of free countries to live in. And that would be amazing. Anyway very much and I'll catch you soon. Bye.